Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we continue our broadcast. This is uh, today we did one already and this is the second one. Uh, however, in this program, we are going to start a new topic. It's called Ask an Imam. But before we go there, uh, we have this Abdul, which I made the video to answer him. And uh, the Abdul, which we mentioned, uh, he's so angry from Germany. He is a Muslim. He is not really a German. And you know, Muslims, they don't believe that to be German, they will never be German or English or etc. Because they believe that they are Muslims and this is the only citizenship they have. Uh, uh, this guy, he just posted text in the previous video, which we finished just a few minutes ago. And he said this. I cannot stay long because I have, uh, I have to leave soon. Uh, but let us see where is the comment. Here we go. Ha ha, Munafiq. I got you. Still Munafiq. This is what I wanted to hear from your mouth. Drink your chai and wait for my next video. But first, keep your promise and send me your book so that I can destroy you and your lies. You stupid idiot. You made a video saying to people, that my books are full of lies and you just admitted that you don't have even a page of my books so how you know it's full of lies i mean how stupid you are to the point you admit in public that you meet actually he asked muslims and you are calling me munafiq do you, do you know guys who is the munafiq munafiq is somebody hypocrite you muslims are hypocrites if you are a true Muslim and you go, you go and do jihad right now. Look what you are doing. You have a cat behind you and you are playing with it. And you don't even dare to call me. I, I made a promise. Whoever a Muslim, not only you, I don't care who, call me live and prove me lying. Call me, call me, not make a video, Abdul. You talk in video, you talk to yourself. Be a man and call me live when I am doing live broadcast. And show everybody my lies, and people either they will laugh at me or at you. And now you are seeing Munafiq. The Munafiq, my friend, is the one who asked Muslim to make false review. That is a Munafiq. I have your video in your channel, and actually, many people download it already and they post it around to expose you. You cannot even delete it no more. Many people have it. Asking Muslims to go and make a false review and you made it from the first day I have my book out you made a video saying my books is full of flies But yet you never read the book you never get a page of the book and here we go You are admitting that you cannot ex ex you know, Expose my lies as you call it unless I send you my books <laughs> This Abdul is not willing to spend money to defend Islam. He wanted for free <laughs> send me the books for free and then i will defend my prophet my prophet don't deserve to defend him i'm i waiting for your what what an idiot so all the videos you made accusing me of liar or to be a liar but yet you don't have my book you never read my book and you're asking me to send you my book anyway I'm so glad that you are writing in there and I'm so glad that you are making uh, videos and uh, the more Muslims make videos, the more Islam get busted. And I just made a video showing your prophet how he say to a human being, this is how much respectful prophet he is. This is how much he is a person high, have high ethic. Go and suck the clitoris of your mother. Go and suck the penis of your father. This is the language of your prophet. Don't forget to mention that in your video. And you are, don't forget too, you call me hypocrite liar and how false I am because a Christian should not call people donkeys. Your prophet and your God call people donkeys. And by the way, I don't want to forget, your last, your prophet last name is dogs and his wife Zainab bin Tujahsh, which means Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. So what's wrong with you Muslims? The last name of the prophet is dogs. And the last name of his wife, which he kidnapped, forcing his son to divorce her so he can have her. 
Zainab bint Jahsh. Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. Anyway, I want to hear you. Please make more videos. I encourage all the Muslims in Germany to make videos to refute my books. Please, but don't forget, in order to refute my books, you need to read my books. And don't forget, please call me live, because that will make it more fun. You see, imagine you are calling the Christian prince, humbly, and you show the whole world that this guy is a liar. Imagine how wonderful that video will be. Then you can download this video, and then you can post it everywhere in Germany, in Holland, in Sri Lanka. Do it. Do it. Be a man. What wait for my coming video? Coward? What a potato. Now, we go to our topic. Please, guys, invite your friends. Our topic today is ask an imam. For those who do not know what imam mean, imam is a, a religious leader in Islam. He is the one supposedly educated about Islam. So he will give you answers according to Allah teaching and his prophet. As simple as that. If you go in this website, ask an imam, there's many websites like it, you will find that the Muslims still beyond, behind, thousands of years behind, for one reason, it is Islam. Saying Bismillah before the wudu. Look how important the question is to say Bismillah before the wudu. <laughs> How do I get married? <laughs> Marwan ibn Hakam, uh, Sahaba were uh, uh, rightly guided. Intention for fa fasting. I don't know what does that mean. Okay, it waited monthly and still. Uh, okay, let's continue. Female moving to another country alone to take up a job offer. So you have to ask the imam. I mean, our female, she is moving to a different country to take an, a job. We need to ask the imam. The imam will make decision for us. Do I have to give zakat in my child worth? Hmm? Multiple hajj related questions. I have lost in atheism to lead a good life. What do I do? Can I put down my cat to save uh, to save it from further pain <laughs> uh, my istikara is positive istikhara istikhara sorry but this is further decrease what should i do i'm just giving you an idea uh, the different type of divorce did i give divorce to my wife or not the guy, the imam, will, de will decide for him if he should divorce her or not. Not him, not the husband. Facing the Qibla, face, facing the direction of the Kaaba. Uh, who is it re uh, uh, relieving one's itself principle or not? Is it a principle for a Muslim to earn income by providing haram financial service? <laughs> like what, theft? Calling an item gift to avoid tax. Permissible or not, uh, authority of Sufi story, physical effects of bad dreams. Do the following statement constitute kufr? <laughs> I mean, this is a very serious. Uh, uh, claiming back initial insurance amount. You see, you have to call the imam to ask him if you can claim him back insurance amount. Oh. Uh, which animal can uh, kurbani be done on? What? Which animal we can sacrifice? That's what it says. A problem between husband and wife, saving money, women memorizing Quran during menstruation. Can I talk to a girl I find attractive? Employer is responsible for misuse of Wi-Fi. <laughs> Even Allah is involved in the Wi-Fi. By the way, Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi is is is, a, is the the work of the kuffar. Why you are even involving Allah in the kuffar action, my friend? This is this is Wi-Fi of the kuffar. 
What Allah have to do with the Wi-Fi? Okay. Husband not taking wife to visit her father overseas. Dub. Did husband give wife to 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 or of talaq in marriage contract? Breaking it with illegitimate child. Should I read Surah Al Fatiha behind the Imam? <laughs> Women studying abroad. What is the purpose of mahar and how much should it be? Oh boy. Is it a principle to make uh, what? Gold uh, or mint? Can I sit and perform some <laughs> spelling and meaning of the meme? Forgetting to rinse the mouth of uh, Fard al Ghusl. What is the meaning of the name Waniya? The dream that Allah has blessed me with the two beautiful daughters. Selling vibrators. <laughs> Selling what? <laughs> Selling what? I want to see this one. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. I have a convenience store, and my question is. Is it allowed to sell vibrator sex toy for ladies? I mean, okay, hold, hold on, hold on. I mean, obviously, you need to ask the Imam about this. You see, a Muslim, he needs guidance. Okay, there is in the market sex toys, and he have a store, and he is thinking to sell the Muslima vibrators for their, you know. So now, I need to know what I can do. Is it haram? Is it halal? <laughs> ah, let us go, Zakir Naik, and ask him. Taradam, 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 taradam. Boom. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam. Brother, uh, we have a question. We have a brother here. He owns a store and he want to sell sex toys. So is it haram or it's halal? Brother Thitar, somebody called me and he said, is it lawful for me to sell sex toys? First of all, you need to describe for me the sex toy so I can tell you what it is. Because according to the hadith, it said that if a woman, she enter uh, a crimbage, which is like a cucumber, that is not haram. However, she have to do ghusl. So, brother, you have to describe for me the sex toy. Do you have the description? Um, the sex toy description. Brother, I cannot really describe. I'm shy. I will send you a photo. Uh, please, I don't accept photo for many reasons. Number one, I don't like photos. Number two, maybe it is youthful, so one of my family can use it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, you know, there is a hadith, it says, a guy, he said to a Muslim, you're a prophet, he taught you everything, including how to do, excuse my language, shit. Let me show you the hadith. And this is telling us how silly this cult is. I mean, do you really need to ask a scholar to know if you can sell sex toys or not. I mean, you are a truly, truly a good believer. Hmm. Ah. The prophet here, he was teaching the Muslims to use the three rocks to clean their ass. So don't be wondering why Muslims are asking such a questions. And he has also instructed us not to use less than three rocks to, to clean our asses. You see, the translation here is not really true. Why the prophet instruct you not to use less than three rocks? Mm. Okay, let us continue. An Arab man said to a, a Salman, your companion, mean Muhammad, even teaching you how to do shit. You see, they're here. They say how to go to the toilet. 
It doesn't say that. It says in Arabic, حتى الخراء. الخراء in Arabic mean, excuse my language again, shit. So you're a friend, he is teaching you even how to do shit. The answer, the Sahabi said, the companion say yes. The Prophet, he taught us how to do shit. And look like those Muslims before the Prophet taught them how to do shit. They used to do shit in their panty. And look at the translation, how funny. He said, yes, he forbid us from facing the Qibla when defecating or urinating. But by the way, you go in the Hadith, you will find Muhammad, he was defecating and shitting, but he is facing the Qibla when he do it. <laughs> so he was saying to the Muslim, don't do that. But he was shitting in the direction of the Qibla. Excuse my language, the, the topic is very dirty, so the smell is going to come. So don't be surprised with seeing such stupid questions mentioned by Muslims to the scholars of Islam. You see, nobody is asking anything worse even to answer. All those questions are stupid. Is it a principle to shave under my arm? How I can shave? Can I use sugar or different product? Is it okay to put, to put mascara on my eyes? Is it okay to use lipstick made in France? I mean, all, all the questions, it is just stupid. I wish somebody can ask why Allah have a hand? Why Allah have a leg? Why the Prophet killed a woman at the age of 85 by cutting her to pieces? Why the Prophet he raped a child? Why the Prophet he took the fifth from every attack? Why the Prophet he killed 900 Jews after they surrendered themselves to him? Why the Prophet cleansed the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula? Why, why? Serious questions. But as you see, all are silly. Can I sit and perform Salah? Like, can I sit and pray? I mean, and the Imam will tell you if you can sit and pray, what kind of religion this religion is? So if he say yes, you sit. What if the Imam is a stupid too? What if the Imam is a, is a joker? Obviously, those Muslims, they replace their cult leader, Muhammad, by new cult leaders, they call them Imams. And now those Imams are controlling their lifestyle. Forgetting to rinse my mouth. He forgot to rinse his mouth. He have to put it in the internet. Everybody have to know what about calling TV station and do it. I remember when a Muslim woman, she called the TV station live on air. And this was long, long time ago. I wish at that time, like we have like today, uh, cell phones, record, etc. Uh, you know, like those software apps. Uh, she said, I don't want to make her voice because obviously she is a whore. She was seducing the sheikh. The sheikh, when he heard her voice, he started drinking, uh, you know, water like crazy. And he was sweating him and the host. And she said, Assalamu alaikum. I don't want to say her voice because that will make me sound weird. Uh, when I take my clothes, my sister told me that uh, the fish are looking at my beautiful body. The sheikh, he is sweating like crazy and drinking water. And then he said, <clears throat> okay, sister, I advise you, sister, to change your clothes in different room because obviously those fish they have genie inside them and they are looking at, at your beautiful, pure body. And this is haram, sister. The girl, she said, but I have only one room. He said, okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, I advise you to cover it by a blanket. <laughs> cover the fish tank by a blanket and the fish are masturbating by looking at the body of the Muslim man, and she is calling that live on TV and tons of millions are listening. I mean, obviously she is very conservative and obviously she don't like that. And obviously those fish are filthy. And obviously now she got the answer. Take beer. This is a religion. If we continue here in the in the in the 
Let us see. Uh, does the statement I am not your wife constitute, constitute divorce? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to music with words of kufr. <laughs> Principle to cut or shave the hair of nap or what? <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Is it a principle to cut or shave the hair of a nap? Answer, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. You see, we have to put the name of Allah to speak about shaving now. Allah himself is coming to tell us what to do with shaving. Like, come on, this is serious. The United Nations is the United Nations Security Council now in live meeting to discuss where we can shave and where we are not allowed to shave. For if you shave in the wrong way, Allah in heaven is going to be so upset. Do you know how dangerous it is to do shaving without the permission of Allah? That's totally bad idea. So in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brother, brother, it is a principle to cut out the hair, the nap. However, you should avoid shaving up. <laughs> See, I told you, you might do something and make you go to hell. Here we go. It's a principle to cut it, but not to shave it. That guy was going to shave it, not to cut it. So now the Imam save his future. This guy, if he shave it now, Allah will be so angry from him. You can cut it, but you cannot shave it. I mean, this is truly, truly life-saving program. Brother, how I can reward you? Uh, brother, I was going to shave it. But because you helped me, now I will not. And look at the end of the fatwa, what the Muslims, they close their fatwa, they say, and Allah knows best. So what you are saying to him, what do you mean Allah knows best? This is a disclaimer. The Sheikh is saying the disclaimer. Because if somebody don't agree with him and prove him wrong, he will say, don't, didn't I say Allah to say that knows best? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. It is a principle to cut the hair, not to shave. What is the reference for that? I mean, what kind of shakes those shakes are? Maybe you have reference? Let us see. No. New York, USA. The, re the reference is New York, USA. <laughs> <laughs> it checked and approved by Mufti Ibrahim Diyazi. Oh, Ma'am, Mufti Ibrahim, this is Mufti Ibrahim, brother. He is a specialist in shaving and cutting hair. He has a 10 PhD in private part sh shaving, underarm shaving, mustache clip cl clipping. I mean, you name it. Anything have to do with hair shaving or cutting ask the imam and allah knows best so amazing this is the religion i always wanted to be part of women going out if, 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 if. let us see what this one women going out i don't know guys if the text is good for you let me make it bigger you see i have no time because i'm, I'm leaving soon uh, but what i can do i mean i cannot resist the temptation of this amazing religion so beautiful sometimes i cry you know look at this assalamu alaikum i am a newly married 26 years old medical a medical doctor is asking a question my question is that can i take my wife to market to buy her clothes shoes etc or sometimes just for a dinner or ice cream or etc not frequently only sometime my mother says that it is bad for a woman to go out of her home also women or of our family go out even without mehram which means without a guardian because you need a guardian for the girls most of them they will kidnap her brother they are good people 
So please give me an advice. Imagine, guys, this is a doctor. He's not allowing his mom. She is saying it's not good for women to go alone and not to go at, out at all, even with the husband. And this is the doctor. Are you going to go to a Muslim doctor? What he, how, how he look at his at your wife when she take off her clothes in the front of him? You know, if you go to a doctor, most likely the women she have to take off her clothes in certain areas to sh so the doctor can do the examination. If it's a Muslim, when he see your wife body, what he is thinking, the questions here is telling you what their brain is about. If this is a doctor is asking such a silly question, what about a person who is uneducated, he have no degree, he don't even have a, a, a elementary school? If this is the one who spent long years in the in the in the medical school, thinking in such a way, and his mom told him, sound like we are talking to kids, who they are not even six years old. This is why I believe always that Muslims, when when the second you are a Muslim, you are immature. Islam make you immature person. Islam put you in a chain. Make you unable to make decisions even for the most silly, stupid thing. I mean, your wife, she want to buy clothes. What a big deal, man. And you are going with her. The question is not even about going alone. She is going with him. And yet he is a questioning if this is right or not. How silly. How stupid. And how deceiving this religion about women. Because they are making you believe that if women go out, that will make her see around. Ah, now she will not be the cat with the closed eyes. She will learn things. She will be smarter. She might get educated. This is why Aisha, she said that the prophet said, I'll remove, you know, put them in their rooms, put them in their rooms, keep them in their rooms, and teach them how to do make a close, and teach them the chapter, which one I forgot. I think. Mm, I forgot really Al Ghafir, Al -Kawthar, I forgot which chapter and teach them that chapter so the women she should stay in the room and she should not go out now let us see what this guy and this guy is based in New York dear brother it's principle for your wife to take your wife and uh, uh, in Barada to marketplace occasionally and don't to uh, uh, and do to need that's it that, that's the answer? <laughs> oh, oh boy. Checked and approved by Mufti Ibrahim Diazi, New York, USA. I mean, this is a good business. I'm going to open a Mufti office and people send me questions. Serious. This is a very serious man. One humanity legit is one humanity legit. Anyway, you know I don't really have too much time today. I just made my my finish my broadcast, and as I said, I have a, I have a, I have a, to go somewhere. Uh, people, listen carefully. When religion control, even the most silly things in life that is not something to follow because that will make you limited a man who has exist 2000 years ago or 1400 years ago is going to in details to the point speak about women vagina how to do intercourse how to enter the bathroom imagine if we are in a public toilet public bathroom and we do what muhammad said that we have to make certain prayer before we enter the bathroom and we enter with the right foot or the left foot. Imagine how long we need to finish our business in the bathroom or the toilet, in the restroom. The month of Ramadan, all the Islamic nation is in a sleep, which means there's no business running, there's no productive for 30 days. The whole country, the whole nation, is in a sleep, in a nap. And they spend all their saving during the year. You see, the Muslim, they say the benefit of Ramadan to see the family. So it's false. Ramadan is the month of bad things to happen. 
for they spend all their saving on food. For they get and gain weight, they don't lose weight. For they don't even fast because all what they do change the schedule of eating from eating during daytime to eating during nighttime. And when they eat, they eat like camels. And the price of food go three, four times more in the month of Ramadan. Where is the fasting? And the whole country is in sleep. Government closed. The government office is open two hours. And if you go there, you will find nobody. It's Ramadan. This is why in the month of Ramadan, everybody go abroad. All Muslims, especially those who can afford it. And where they go, they go to six, uh, six tourists abroad. This is cannot be something from God. What a silly religion. If you remember, a woman, she come to the prophet. And she said to him that I see a wet dream. Wet dream. Should I wash? You see, the topic is not the wet dream. The topic is should I wash? <laughs> Prophet, yesterday, huh? What? The Prophet was asked about a man who finds witness and does not remember having wet dream. So he said, he is performed gospel and was asked about a man who had wet dream but does not find that any witness. So he said, No gospel. So if you see wet dream, but but there's no wet, you are fine. I mean, wisdom that's wisdom, man. Okay, uh, the message of Allah said, Three things do not break the fast of a fasting person copying, vomiting, and wet dream. <laughs> Actually, if you have my book, Six and Allah, you will see that it is break your hedge. If you have sex with your wife, but it does not break your hedge. If you have sex with a donkey, you believe it? You believe it? Having sex with the wife will will break your hedge, and you it's not accepted by Allah. But if you have sex with an animal, it is accepted. Okay. I ask Messenger of Allah about a woman. Who has with a dream and he said if she sees water let her perform gospel I mean you see the consultant the prophet his door is open women come into his door and the woman she said to him prophet yesterday I was you know and I saw eh, you know and and you know actually actually in the hadith it says more but let me see you see here it says she is masturbating okay Read with this one. Read, 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 Abdul, read. Let us see the translation of this one. It was narrated from Umm Salama that a woman said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, Allah is not shy to tell the truth. Does a woman have to perform ghusl, ghusl which means wash? If she has a wet dream, he said yes. And then, yes, if she sees water. Okay, let us make a note now. You have what a dream, you have to look down there. If you see, see, Muhammad is expert. If you see water there, then you have to wash. Otherwise, Allah will not accept your prayer. Um Salama laughed. Um Salama, the wife of Muhammad, laughed. Say, do women really have wet dreams? This woman here, proving to us that Muhammad, Muhammad, is not a husband. Because in different hadith, Umm Salama, she said, do women have orgasm? Which means Muhammad never was able to make Umm Salama have orgasm. Never. Otherwise, how she will say how a woman have orgasm? And look, the translation here. أَتَحْتَلِمُ المرأة? أَتَحْتَلِمُ المرأة, which means do she come do she come the woman she never the wife of Muhammad she never come and look what Muhammad said 
Umm Salama laughed and said, do women really have wet dreams? This is not really what she said. The Messenger of Allah said, how else would her child resemble her? Is that if she has a mission of the follow, a fluid of an orgasm? So you see, this is not about wet a dream. This is about the wife of Muhammad asking, do really women have orgasm? So Muhammad, he said, yes, she have orgasm. Otherwise, how the child resemble the, 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 the mother? So now Muhammad is supposed to be a smart and he claimed that the fluid of orgasm coming from the women is the reason for the child to resemble his mother. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Very beautiful and a lot of wisdom and science. And now I know what happened to each one of us. Why you look like your uncle from your mother's side and why you look like your father because in different hadith it says, if the man come first, the baby will resemble the father. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Now, here, the reason I'm mentioning this is just to show you how silly and how trashy this religion. The prophet said, if any one of you wakes up and sees some witness, but he does not think that he had an erotic dream, let him have a bath. But if he think that he had an erotic dream, but he does not see a witness, then does not have to take a bath. But the, what he's worried about is not the erotic dream, it is taking a bath. You see what the topic is? Like, he's not saying to them, don't dream about women, don't wish women they are not yours, don't masturbate. No, no, he is talking about bath. This is the important. Muslim women seeing wet a dream, that's mean they are dreaming of men doing bang bang to them. Muhammad have no problem with it. What his problem is, is should we wash, should she wash her vagina? Wow. I mean, this is too so deep. Actually, this is so deep if you think about it. All right. Whenever a prophet took a bath, Geneva, sexual relationship, or wet a dream, even the prophet he have wet a dreams. Even the they have 13 wives according to Muslims and God knows how many sex slaves yet he have with the dreams He asked for a hilab or some or uh, uh, Or other uh, sense so he used to take it in his hand and rub it over his right side of his head head and then over the left and what what, what is this is about? <laughs> All right <clears throat> The Prophet took a bath of Janaba, sexual relationship or wet dream. He first cleaned his private part with his hand and then he rubbed, dropped it, that hand with the wall. I call them, hold on, hold on. I, I made the videos about this before and actually uh, uh, it's in my book. But the Prophet, now he have a wet dream and his penis is covered by sperm. Learn please how to clean your penis. He first cleaned his penis with his hand and then he rubbed that hand on the wall. Oof. 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 I mean, that's amazing. Please take a note. Ask an Imam how the Prophet used to clean his penis. After he see a wet dream, why in the world this is even public? Let us say for the sake of argument, Muhammad, he did that. And obviously he did. But why Muhammad sharing how he clean his hand after having orgasm or masturbation? Who is the one is reporting this Maimuna Maimuna was the witness thank you Maimuna thank you for watching Muhammad having orgasm seeing with a dream Maimuna was sitting in the room Muhammad he was holding his private part he was playing with it and bingo he have orgasm and now the prophet he woke up or let us say he get up and he said oh okay let me clean it he cleaned his right hand 
Then he wrapped his hand on the wall. Can you imagine what kind of art Muhammad he has or he had in his wall? If every time Muhammad have orgasm, he rub his hand on the wall, Picasso cannot do that. That will be the most beautiful artistic art. Paint by the sperm of the Prophet of Allah. Isn't it amazing, my friend? So ask an imam. We better change it to be ask a stupid man. His name is Muhammad. Ask an ethical man. His name is Muhammad. This is really, and that's the funny, uh, uh, the Muslim, they say, uh, the song of songs is book of porn. <laughs> Abdul, Abdul, the song of song is not God talking. This is a king. This is a king who was a sinner and he was praising his city in his own way. This is not God. This is a king. He is making a point. It's written there because the king, he said that. And you Muslim, you made a big story of it until one day. The dad, he said, the name Muhammadim in the Song of Songs. Suddenly, the Song of Songs became a holy poet. It's not about porn no more. Hypocrites. Here we go, your prophet. His laundry is all over. We can read those stories as much as you wish. But I advise you, if you read more of those garbage, get my book, Six and Allah. You can get it from any Amazon dot com dot de dot whatever get them read them they are full of reference which you will not believe which we never even spoke about before i can stay longer i want to say guys thank you but please don't forget to download the video before this one it's extremely important and i want everyone to load it everywhere the video title is in german change the title make it whatever you wish but just Paste in the info the German which is there so people they will know this is about about what and Let us see how the Muslims can refute us Ask an Imam is nothing but ask a stupid man who is playing with your mind Asking the Prophet is nothing but asking a person who have no ethic and obviously he don't even have the ethic or let us say the 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 the, 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 the hygiene of cleaning himself there's no way a man who know a little bit of, of uh, being a clean that he will wrap his hands on the wall after having orgasm. This is not, don't, don't do it, Abdul. This is why I'm not inviting any Muslim to sleep in my house. If, if a Muslim sleep in my house, I will wake up, he wake up, we will find a lot of a drawing of orgasm on the wall. Imagine you have 10 Muslims invited to sleep in your house. You wake up in the morning, you find what? Paint all over. Muslims rubbing their hands with the wall. And if you ask them why you are doing that, they will say we are following the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, rubbing our hands full of sperm over the walls. MashaAllah. And after that, brother, look, look how clean the Prophet. Then he performed a pollution. Then man i mean look at this that is the best please practice and learn the guidance of being clean from the prophet of the clean prophet and by the way once a guy his name osama abdullah he said to me you christians full of lies i said to him are you saying the one is full of lies is dirty he said sure do you know why people get lies because they are dirty don't take shower so when I showed him that his prophet is full of lies, then suddenly lies became holy and lies became a friendly bit. So may the friendly bit cover you, Abdul, if you follow the prophet of Allah guideline. That is Islam and this is Muhammad. Thank you guys for being here. I apologize. I can't stay longer. Please subscribe to all my channels, Arabian Prophet, this one. Soon we will start doing podcast in Arabian Prophet again. But for now, we are here. But please download the previous video.
and this video for sure and all the videos I have share, share them everywhere get them pieces do whatever you want with them my videos is made for you and by me but for you by me for you is to help you and to help everybody so help me to help others my videos is not meant to spend my time or wasting my time my videos is meant to share with you knowledge which it's very hard for you to find out which is very easy for me to share and i say it's very easy because i spend all my life studying this cult so now it's easy but it took me a lot of time to learn a lot of time to know but god is good and always god he sent the best of us to help the others there's people who help me to understand things i do not know and i help you to understand things you do not know we need to help each other and always always the lord provide us with guidance and guidance is always there islam cannot be from the true god a true prophet he will not teach such a teaching he will not act such such an act a prophet should not even speak of such a filthy stupid things that is not what the prophets of god do if you want to learn the ethic go and see what jesus and who is jesus Go and compare any word Jesus said and compare what Muhammad is saying in front of us. And you will see immediately that we are speaking about the highest and the top of ethic. The person who said, love your enemy. While Muhammad was rubbing his hands on the wall after orgasm. While Jesus was rubbing his hand on the eyes of a blind man to make him see. Making leper heal. Making the one who cannot walk, walk. Raising people from death, the prophet of Islam was rubbing his hand when the wall in his house, making it dirty, filthy, and he is having orgasm in his house while he is married. Why in the world a man he is married even having that or doing such a thing? This is cannot be accepted. I can say, okay, a man who is single, well, Lord have mercy. Maybe he cannot handle it. Let him, maybe. But this guy, he have 13 wives, and yet he see and he do what a single man do. He have many success slaves. What is the excuse? No excuse. This is the truth about Muhammad and the Lord. He said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And the fruits of this man is ugly, filthy as he is. My Lord, his name is the Messiah and his name is powerful. And by in his name, I defeat all cults and I am victorious. I am the Christian Prince. I love you all and see you soon again. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you.